Okay, well here's uh, my home-built computer, Magic One. It's blinking away. This is just an idle loop. And let's take a look on the inside, if we can see anything. So there's the card cage. And I'll scoot on around. And let's see if we can see the... Kind of looking upside down now, the inside of the back panel. The case was built by Alistair Rowe. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's try doing some stuff. Let me get the uh, let me get my laptop out. Okay, well here we got a good blinky-like pattern. Um, you can see my laptop up here. I'm listing the uh, the guest book, and if we look at uh, here in the upper left hand corner we can see the uh, IDE drive indicator flashing the um, the interrupts there IRQ5 that's the uh, heartbeat timer IRQ1 is the uh, IDE interrupt when I'm actually not using that that's just kind of stuck open at the moment and then uh, we've got all sorts of good blinkies going on let's see what it looks like um, by sing by going in a slow motion Okay, so to slow it down, I'm going to switch us to the uh, sl the variable speed clock. First thing I'm going to do here is flip DMA request, and that sends us into a DMA loop. And then I'm going to stop the clock. So now we've got the clock stopped. We've kind of frozen it here. And I'm going to reach around to the back. Let's kind of move this out of the way. And I've got some switches down here. Let me pull the back panel off that aside and this is my clock select switch down here it's a little dip switch so that one goes there that one goes there okay so let's go back to the front panel again we'll turn the clock back on and go ahead and run whoops I must hit the wrong thing let me pause it for a sec here Okay, I'm back. I, when I put the dis, dip switch down, I didn't get it down all the way. So we'll now go ahead and let the clock start running again. And here we can see the clock is going uh, pretty slow. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up again, take us out of the DMA loop. And now we've got some nice good blinky lights. And there's a, um, a pot in the back that we can speed that up with. But we can see... Uh, here the instruction register that's showing us which instructions executing. And we can see memory references come and going. In it ints, that's the beginning of every new uh, instruction uh, that happens. Uh, let's see what else we've got. There's the clock. And lots of good stuff happening on the data bus and the address buses. And incidentally, um, this switch here is kind of nice. Let me zoom back out a little bit. This lets me select which register display is going to get shown down here. So let me go ahead and just stop this for a moment. And so there's a B register, what's in the A register, and I can just rotate all the way through here and take a look at the contents of pretty much all of the registers, which is sort of nice. Let's go ahead and zoom and go back there. Anyway. Very, very cool stuff. So the, uh, the enclosure by Alistair Rowe is just an amazing thing and uh, really makes it all complete. So there we go.